Have you been to Fur Natures? Have you been to Faux Natures? Have you been to Fur Natures? Well, today, you stop those DMs because I'm here. Let's check out what's all the fuss about. All right, guys, made it here to Faux Natures. This is a Vietnamese cuisine restaurant over here in Port Natures. I wanted to check it out because there's a lot of pho places in Beaumont. Actually, there's not too many pho places in Beaumont, but I want to see how this one pairs to the other one. So my favorite one in Beaumont is Crystal Pho right now, and we'll see how Four Niches holds up. I did get the uh, pho with everything. So this is nicely decorated stuff. We got like the Vietnam mural over here. I love places that are like kind of Instagrammable because that's what makes you you know, feel like it's a place that they actually tried hard to uh, make it nice, and they definitely did it over here. But uh, right now, went in that uh, got me some coffee two dot two, which is Vietnamese coffee, and we're gonna try it out. All right, here is the faux natures. This one has a large bone right here. Look at that. I didn't even know it had that. So it looks like a big rib. You got the sides, the accoutrements. And I also got my uh, coffee, so we'll try that. All right, let's take a look what they have here. This right here is the tendon. You have the beef brisket. You have the tripe. This is kind of like a squid texture. You get the meatball. And of course, this big hunking piece of meat right there is the big beef rib. Never had that before. Didn't know it had all that. Meatball, dip in the sauce. That's good. I haven't even got any, gone into the noodles yet. a good bowl of pho. Again, there's this big old chunk of meat. It falls off the bone. Not much flavor in the meat, just because it's all in the broth, but that's why you dip it inside the dipping sauce. I rate this bowl of pho probably on par with the place, Crystal Pho. Now, those are my two favorites. It's pretty good too. Like I said, if you taste the broth and you don't have to add anything else, any oyster sauce or sriracha sauce that's going for 30 bucks on the internet, then it's a good bowl of pho because you have a, have a good base. And this one definitely does. Here's the tripe. This is the uh, stomach lining of a cow. Dip that in my sauce. It's like a squid for sure. Supposedly, some restaurants actually deep fry that stuff and pass it off for calamari because it's so similar in texture. I'm just really shocked by this bone. All right, guys, that's gonna be it for faux natures. Definitely, if you want a lot of protein, get that natures bowl, because, man, that was a lot of meat. That beef rib was so much food. I'm stuffed, and uh, glad I went here. Great bowl of pho, for sure. Again, if you have to add all that oyster sauce and sriracha in it to make it taste good, then it's not a good bowl of pho to me. But maybe for you, it's great, but for me, this place has good fun, so check it out over here. And don't forget, if you guys want to follow me to the food, make sure to subscribe, like, and I'll see you guys in the next one. Peace.